Hey everybody, I just want to start this video off by uh, first and foremost repenting to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I honestly, I was supposed to make this video in, last year in March, but I was worried about what people would think or what, instead of worried about what the Lord called me to do. And so, like I said, I want to apologize for that. And I just want to move forward and show you what he showed me because I believe you deserve to know just as much as I did when he showed me. And I believe it's pretty prevalent compared to what's going on today. So in this dream, America was preparing for war. I could see that everybody was scared. Uh, people didn't really know what to think. Really, Americans never thought that this could happen to them. If you are from America, you know exactly what I mean. You know that we are the land of the free, the proud, and the uh, quote-unquote invincible. So nothing could happen to us, right? So in the dream, I, my job was to prepare soldiers for the war. We were about to be deployed to Fort Arthur. Remember um, the term Fort Arthur. And we were about to be, a, be deployed there to defend our country's border. I could tell that we really, that the country, the military was not really prepared for a war. It don't matter how, how hard, how fiercely uh, I trained these soldiers for war, they just didn't have a war mentality and they did not want to go and sacrifice their lives in a war. The soldiers I was training, really they were teenagers and young adults. So they really didn't have a mindset to give, give up their lives for a country that they really don't even you know, respect or cherish. You know, you know how the, the state of our country is right now. I was really shocked at how how really unprepared the u.s forces were and is like i came from the military so i pretty much know how you know we how much we should be prepared uh what we should know uh how we should conduct this and that so we were nowhere near that capacity really the whole country knew not just the military the, real, the whole country knew that we were about to be attacked on every side of our country and on the borders of our country. It, it wasn't like a, a surprise. It was a national headline. Everyone was aware. Everyone was scared. Everyone was panicking. I believe these attacks were coming from Russia and China, but I know for a fact that they were coming from Russia. I don't know they were coming from Russia and China at the same time, but I know that they were coming from Russia uh, for a fact. The whole country knew that if we went to war, no matter with Russia or China or Russia and China, that this wasn't going to go well. So when I woke up, I looked up for Arthur. This is pretty much what I saw. Keep in mind, I have never heard of a Fort Arthur or anything like that. I've never heard of this. I never heard of a, a base called Fort Arthur. Uh, with my time in the military, I never heard of this. This is what I saw. Fort Arthur didn't come up at all, but Port Arthur did. And uh, this is what I saw. It's the Battle of Port Arthur. So this happened, you know, of course, a hundred some years ago. But what does it say? It shows you the start of the Russo-Japanese War. The commencement means the start. It means it hasn't started yet, but it's about to start. Someone triggered it. What does it say? It says it began with a surprise night attack by a squadron a Japanese destroyers on the neutral Russian fleet. What does that say when you compare it to what's going on right now? It started in the naval area. It started in the seas. It didn't start on ground or on land. It started in the seas. So in this example, the Japanese started the war. But now... What I saw was Russia started the war. When I had the dream, we didn't have naval Russian sh Russian ships uh, docked on the borders of the United States. 
But now the whole country knows we do. The whole world knows that Russia has submarines located outside of our nation's borders. It's just waiting. Why they are there, you tell me. And it says it began with a surprise attack, meaning that there was no warning prior to the attack. It was a surprise when people least expected it. And it was at night when most people were asleep. I'm just saying, I'm just comparing what the Lord showed me with what history shows us. Like I said, this was a whole year ago. And now we see, see it being played out right now. I'm not trying to scare nobody. I'm just showing you what the Lord showed me. Like I said, I should have been said this. I'm not trying to cause a fear tactic or anything. I'm trying to say, prepare your hearts, prepare your families for what's about to happen. I know the media downplays the situation like this and that can't happen, but depending, compared to what the Lord showed me, it will happen. It's not a, a if thing, it's a win thing at this point. And I believe there are events that's going to happen prior to this. I don't really have that knowledge at, the, at this point. But I, I do have, the Lord has shown me multiple other, other things concerning China and Russia. And I can share that, you know, at a later time. But I just wanted to point this out. I didn't have this dream because I ate spaghetti or pizza the night before. This is a prophetic dream that the Lord is using to warn us and show us what's about to happen. He said before he do anything in the earth, he first shows his prophets. And I just want to show you, uh, like I said, what he showed me. I honestly do feel that we can fast, you know, we can pray that the Lord postpones this. So as many people as possible can be prepared and be saved. Because at the end of the day, what we want, what we want is the salvation of souls. That's our desire. If you're a Christian, you desire for other souls to be saved. So what we want to do is um, pray for your country. We love America. We love our country. But we know what's about to happen is inevitable. But that doesn't mean that we can't, you know, at least postpone it and ask the Lord for grace. Yeah, I just want to put that in there. And, you know, I love y'all. God bless y'all. And uh, like I said, I'm going to continue to pray. And let's do what we got to do and just be prepared.